Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm doing a video about the Easter eggs and secrets hidden inside of the Black Ops 3 story trailer that came out yesterday. This is not a full trailer breakdown. I'm just going to focus on a handful of facts and, of course, Easter eggs that I find to be very, very strange and interesting. There's going to be regular Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay in the background. First thing I want to talk about is something absolutely crazy that J-Hub pointed out to me. I linked his channel down there in the description. You see a picture of yourself or of a soldier early on in the video with the uh, neural implant in your neck and being worked on and you assume that this is just normal however just for one frame a flash later on you see the exact same picture but degraded I would like to point out that this is not exactly old film degrading nor is this a digital degrade it looks actually more like a building that's being built up kind of constructed reconstructed deconstructed you can see the individual parts and the, like metal rods coming out and it, it looks unusual and what's unusual about it is the shape it looks roughly bell shaped but incomplete and and J-Hub started Googling and he found this old sort of, uh, you know, Nazi UFO thing about the Nazi bell, which if you read about it was one of Hitler's wonder weapons. It's in a uh, Die Glock, if I'm not mistaken. You can Google Nazi bell and you'll find this stuff. Hitler was trying to make a time machine. Hitler was trying to make an infinite energy device. He was trying to make a frictionless something. Uh, lots of different theories. And I kept Googling and what I found out is that Treyarch did actually include the Nazi bell in the game, but it's included in zombies in case you're familiar familiar with the teleporter. The teleporter technology in Zombies is essentially based off the old Nazi bell. I mean, you can see it here in the old Zombies and this here still being used in the new Zombies for the teleporter. Interestingly, this story has a shred of truth to it. I mean, it's really sketchy as per conspiracy things go, but supposedly this is the remnant of a containment facility for the Nazi bell. This was called the Flytrap, if I'm not mistaken, because that's just, just where they had it. And they even recreated the Flytrap in Zombies. This is an very very old zombies easter egg as you can tell here uh, this is one of the ones where you'd collect all the components and samantha would say game over but the components would be put in the fly trap which was supposed to house the nazi bell and it was really weird to see a kind of half constructed bell type thing in the trailer and i just i never realized there were nazi bells in the multiplayer very good job on treyarch's conspiracy historians right there just kind of wanted to point that out in case it doesn't tie into the main story we're going to move on i got lots and lots and lots of crazy stuff today uh, you see briefly in flashes a a bearded man laying in a hospital bed. This looks like a very futuristic hospital bed and not an old one. And you might recognize this fellow if you look closely, especially if you've played the Black Ops 1 campaign, which I would like to add comes free if you get it on the last gen, which is an odd thing we're going to talk about later. But this is clearly Reznov. Uh, some people might say it's not. He looks Reznov as Reznov can possibly get. You know, better graphics updated or whatever. Just looks like Reznov to me. I don't know why we're dreaming about Reznov, how we could possibly have any connection to him or if he's alive or what. But it is very strange that a character that should have been dead at least 120-something years ago and may have never existed to begin with is included in the Black Ops 3 trailer. Just kind of would like to point that out. Got two random ones before we move on to the big stuff. The ballistic knife is back. This is the same knife as the ballistic knife you see it here in the trailer. This kind of reminds me of Launch, which, uh, which is a map from Black Ops 1, and it's one of the campaign levels. I could be wrong. I could be hallucinating, but it just very much so reminds me of the very first campaign level from Black Ops 1, and I don't know exactly why we'd be going back there, though maybe like a more degraded but slightly rebuilt version, and now we're really, you know, I've had some unusual Easter eggs and some stuff, but now we're really, the train's leaving the station and going straight to Crazy Town, about, ha you know, two-thirds into the trailer, the trailer starts showing you all this really, really trippy stuff, the tank bust into the church, but if you notice, the bricks and the other particles are going slower than the tank, and this is an old-school tank, this isn't a modern tank, this is a 1940s tank, which shouldn't be in the future at all and is clearly moving at a different pace than everything else which is very very strange we're talking about uh, Jay Hubble was talking about time travel earlier because the Nazi bell was originally supposed to be a time travel machine we've got lots of trippy visions when he talks about they're invading my head this is essentially inception the ground is l-shaped we're falling toward the roof we've got interrogations and if you watch carefully in a second we're deconstructing reality and rebuilding it with the tree we're falling we're hallucinating you're gonna see these ink blot type things these Venn diagrams start swirling in just a second uh, well we got a little bit more destruction we're hallucinating again there comes even the trees are making this and this is one of the craziest things I saw was that tree right there at the end uh, so you're clearly hallucinating right you're being treated by a doctor you're in an office somewhere you're learning things, but some of the things I just want to show you, the inception here is really strange, so you're clearly going to be playing some World War II missions in the game, 
maybe not exactly as they occurred. I did notice a lot of ink blot type tests, which is a standard psychological test. You know, they put the piece of ink between the two pieces of paper, fold it flat, smudge it, it makes random shapes, and they ask you what you see, and what you answer is typically what you're thinking about. You see it here. But the crazy one, and I, I think where we're going on the story of this, is we have this ancient tree that grows up and shows up all over the place, and you can see there's one guy there kind of trapped between the two smaller trees or roots, kind of chained up or, uh, you know, stuck in place and there's another one confronting him this to me is very very strange it looks like a tree of life an old norse tree kind of like the tree from the book of genesis very symbolic in that respect but i feel that the two people there are two parts of the same psyche that might uh, might have a similar story as black ops one one uh two two minds one body sort of thing the conscious confronts the chained up subconscious or something like that this is clearly a hallucination and one person confronting another one that's trapped inside of that so i think you might actually find reznov or his uh uh, Reznov's consciousness or ethos or an all a fake Reznov chained up to the tree. Very, very strange. And while that is strange, while I have said a lot of completely crazy off-the-wall speculative stuff today, the, the train just left the station. We're halfway to Crazy Town. We're not there yet. We do have one zombie stop along the way. One of the first things you see in the trailer is our spec op guys break into this facility to try and find their brothers. And you'll notice they come across these kind of cryo chambers or regular chambers. These remind me of the ones that uh, Ellen Ripley was in uh, with the colonial marines and aliens. But they're not bodies in here. They're skulls. They're actual like skeletons and dead bodies in here. And that doesn't make any sense because, and this could be a simple editing glitch or something, if you look on the left-hand screen, you see that they clearly still have an active camera pointing at the skull, the skeleton, and it's reading vitals and brain waves. you'll see in a different scene. I'll, I'll go ahead and move over to that one. Why is a dead body still using a direct neural interface and transmitting anything? I, I don't understand this. Is this a bug? Did Treyarch not look at the graphics in the background? I don't think so, especially something so deliberate like this in a trailer. I, I truly, this is an easter egg, but I truly don't understand why dead bodies would be transmitting anything. Is this a hint at the new zombies mode? Is this a hint at part of the story? I truly don't know. And that ties into an old, old, old 4chan leak that I, I did a video about shortly on my channel. I was pretty sure it was discredited. There is a part in the trailer where you see this kind of butchering here, where we're hanging people, who are butchering them, they're destroying them, and all this kind of stuff. And it reminded me of this old leak, which again, J-Hub was able to dig up for me. There was a guy almost a year ago who said he was working on the game. He didn't like the direction it was going, pitched a fit, and got fired from Treyarch. From everything I could tell, it was totally fake. Uh, except he did point out two things, that there were soldiers in this game that would slowly degrade until their augmentations uh, were pretty much the only thing left and the human was gone, which kind of reminds me of these, you know, weird skeletons still having some sort of brainwaves, and that there would be a butchering of people with different augmentations, and that they would be rounded up and imprisoned, and that things would go from bad to worse, and that the campaign would skip around between World War II and modern times, and this kind of, this butchering of old of people that are not augmented or are augmented or the society is falling apart was part of what he was talking about. This guy talked all kind of crazy stuff. He said you'd have to beat this game and then there was a secret mission in Black Ops 1 that would unlock and that then you beat that one and there's a secret mission in Black Ops 2 that unlocks and then once you've got those two beaten you can come and beat the final boss or whatever it's... Uh, the very, very final level of Black Ops 3, where Reznov will be the final boss, which is very strange. And I wouldn't have paid it much attention, except for the fact that his prediction about the uh, the butchering of people, the weird augmented, he called them zombies, but they it's kind of like, uh, you know, people that have rotted and their augmentations keep them alive. And the fact that we're getting Black Ops 1 for free instead of the campaign is kind of, kind of sketch. It's kind of setting people up to play through that. I don't know, lots of conspiracy stuff here, lots of tinfoil hat stuff, a couple of Easter eggs. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.